the historic town of Cumberland Gap, Tennessee, also known as the first gateway to the West. Population, 326 unique individuals leading this town towards a brighter future. Today, we had the opportunity to meet some of those community members and see some of the most beautiful and historic sites in the area. Mansion was built in 1877. Every aspect of the construction was done in 18th century style, using the tools and techniques of the period. And it all started at the Old Mill Inn Bed and Breakfast. Hey guys, we are in the Old Mill Inn. It's pretty, uh, we were wondering why they call it the Old Mill Inn, and then we drove up and we saw an old mill. But we're here in the inn, this place, I mean, this is like a very versatile space they have here in Cumberland Gap. Um, right now it's just being used as an inn for guests and um, the community to come and stay just for a little quiet getaway um, right here in Cumberland Gap. So we all just met over some breakfast and broke some bread together and got to know each other a little bit better for the weekend. And yeah, it's very cool, uh, very family friendly kind of place. And, this is a great place to start our trip here in Cumberland Gap. It's just beautiful. Hi guys, it's Sydney and this is Sharon McRae. And Sharon has been staying here at the inn for the last couple of days and she's gonna tell us just a quick little bit about her weekend. If you've never been to this area, I strongly encourage you to visit. But we have a 29 year old autistic son and we find that when we get out in nature such as this, it yes. calms his soul, calms his spirit, absolutely. and he absolutely becomes my sweet million dollar smile Charlie again. So it's, it's been very yeah. perfect. It's been uh, an amazing experience. And I, again, I would encourage you, if you've not visited this area, please do so. You will not regret it, I promise. Yes. Hey, so I'm standing in front of the oldest standing building in Cumberland Gap, Tennessee. This is a log cabin. It's built in the 1700s. 1700s. Think about that. I was like five, I think. Maybe four. Mm. Would you like to introduce yourself to the camera? Hey, camera. My name's Rose Mountain. I'm a local, and I'm going to be heading up this hike up to Tri-State Peak. All right. Would you like to introduce yourself to the camera? <laughs> My name is Zachary Green. I teach Spanish at J. Frank White. I coordinate the Mountain Fiesta in Cumberland Gap, and I'm a founding member of the Guardians of the Gap. And All right. Get to the top of the mountain. All right, guys, we just finished up breakfast at the Old Mill Inn. This is the Old Mill. So now we are going to go to the Airbnb and get our stuff put down, Airbnbs, because uh, I think we have two separate ones, and we're going to get our stuff down and get settled in before we go on a hike. Crib. He right said up. this was a kit home kit from the 1920s. Tell us what this furniture is. <laughs> it's mine. Are you surprised this is your crib? Okay, you're right, sorry. In an effort to find the best place to sleep, I'm going to go try every bed in this house. Bed number one. What do you think? Very bouncy. Whoa. Man, this one, this one's nice. Nine out of 10. Maybe not the best uh, situation for sleeping, but this is a big chair with an ottoman. Six out of 10, but I think I can still sleep here. Dang, there's good sleeping couches in here. 7.5 out of 10. So Tony and the Guardians of Gab hooked us up with some sweet Airbnbs. Um, we got everything from a front porch swing to an upstairs family room. Um, this place is sweet. So thank you, Tony. Thank you, Guardians of Gab. We're getting settled in, putting our bags down and um, getting ready to go out. They wanted to make me feel right at home, I guess, so they left a bunch of conch shells here as a decoration. Let's see what they have to say. I can hear the mountains. So Tony just knows everyone here. Yeah. We're standing on the porch with Tony. He looks down the street and says, this guy with this big white dog, he knows him. What's his name? Joe Gillum. Joe Gillum. Dog's name is Yankee. Dog's name is, he knows the dog. Everyone in town knows the dog. Oh, He's like, I don't know. Everyone in town knows Yankee. Oh my goodness. This is just like riding a bike. I haven't ridden a bike in a little bit, so I'm going to ride a bike. Hey, it's Where are we me. going? <laughs> I don't know. We're going to hike and be in three states at one time. Tell us a fact we don't know about Cumberland Gap. Cumberland Gap. 
So the water that comes off this mountain is the water that they bottle from Cumberland Gap water. Caitlin, is that true? Yeah. 100% true. Y'all ever wonder what it's like to be in three states at once? We're about to show you. <laughs> We're about to show you. <laughs> Hey Nat. Hey. Where are we? <laughs> We're at the Tri-State Peak. Tri-State Peak. Tri-State Peak. We We're having see. a peak into yeah. Kentucky. Kentucky. Virginia. Virginia. And Tennessee. Tennessee. Tell us a little bit about this place, man. So we hiked up here from Cumberland Gap. Uh, it's about a mile and a half each way. Um, and you get to come up here where the survey point of the three state uh, convergences are. So right behind us in this gazebo, you can stand in one spot there at the survey plaque and you're in three states at once. Right where James is. And uh, what we're looking at right here is Middlesbrough, Kentucky with Tennessee and Virginia behind us. And this is just one of the hikes that you can do when you're in Cumberland Gap. We've got uh, over 80 miles of connected trails around the town and then the town is wrapped in the National Historic Park. So. Mm -hmm. You get on one trail and you're on a network of over 80 trails that go between Kentucky, Virginia, and Tennessee. All right, we're headed back down to Gap Creek Coffee in Cumberland Gap to meet Tony for some lunch. So let's go. Stop. So we're back at the Gap Creek Coffee House. Behind us, if you remember from our last episode, that swing we talked about, my family that um, built this house and lived here, they have really um, made this coffee house a really cool place. It's in a, I mean, it's a place that the whole community loves to come and, and support and eat at. Um, not, they don't just do coffee. We figured that out. And they do. Uh, they have an incredible lunch menu. Um, I got um, the blackberry jam grilled cheese, and it had like bacon and jalapenos on it so it was like it was really good very different but it was really good um they had so they had like paninis and wraps and other sandwiches and croissants and those kinds of things so now we gotta go down to the town learn a little bit more about the community speak to some business owners and, and community members so nope, see you there it's papa chums music and rarities um owned by myself and my son about five and a half years ago, we decided to open this place down here in Cumberland Gap because we've always been fond of Cumberland Gap. We also have a store, an online store on Reverb.com, which is a site that is strictly for musicians. Daniel is the, the musician in the family now. He uh, actually, I'm gonna give him a shameless plug. So this whole album was recorded here. Can you play us a song? And I do love, hate, and everything in this My name's Kayla Owens. I'm a local from Middlesbrough, actually. So I've been around the Gap my entire life. But whenever I was in college, I started making cakes on the side just for extra money and I got a really big clientele with that. And instead of uh, going on to chiropractic school, I decided to open a bakery. It took a really long time to find a name for the bakery. And then my grandma reminded me of this picture of me whenever I was little. And she said it was just always meant to be. And we just got the name Flower Babies from that picture. You can reach me on Facebook. Uh, it's just under Flower Babies Bakery. I do everything from small batch orders of cookies to five tier wedding cakes. Uh, it's Mitty's Metal Art. Um, been here about five years. Uh, I started out not knowing anything. Um, so I was starting to do this uh, steak and hammer kind of work. And now it turned into kind of commission. Uh, Mitty's Metal Art. Uh, dot com blue forge skillet bl eu uh blue forge skillet um um you know instagram facebook uh, mostly 
a lot of stuff. I, I do a lot of commissions outside of Tennessee. Oh, look. Caitlin has found another creature. Caitlin, do you know this dog's name? Bristol Chanel. Bristol Chanel. Hi, Bristol Chanel. Hi, this is Kay Wolfenbarger at Gertie's Commissary. It's an antique shop in Cumberland Gap. We sell different types of antiques, some of our furniture's back into the 1800s. Uh, we've been at this place since 2009. And our give back to the Appalachian is the fact that we have the antiques from days before. Yeah. And there's some work in order. Well, my name is Steve Moore, and I'm the owner and operator of Frame Shop and Gallery. Um, now, I do a whole lot of custom framing. I have customers from all around the three state region, uh, people from as far away as uh, Cincinnati uh, that come to have me do framing for them. Uh, it's something I just love to do. We do a lot of framing and we sell artwork as well. I've been in business here in this location for 26 years. Here I had the shop in Middlesboro for 15 years. And then I decided I wanted to go to a new location. So it was at that point that I started doing drawings and, and uh, kind of just imagining what I might like to see. But uh, yeah, and then we went to work and it took uh, three lifetimes and uh, Four of my children. <laughs> it completely, yeah, they're gone. <laughs> I'm Joe Wolfenbarger. This is Whistle Stop Antiques. It started on a fluke like everything else in my life, no planning. I had a shop, but it was out in the country next to my house and was only open a few days a week, uh, on the weekends. Then we came here, started out the same thing, then we expanded to four days then to five, and now it's seven days a week. I think I'm gonna bring something. <laughs> Are you ready? Mm -hmm. It's a ketchup bottle. <gasps> and, but wait, but wait. There's more. It's mustard. It's ketchup and mustard. Now that's nice. Well, hello there. Uh, I'm Cora Pat Howard. Uh, in 2014, uh, John and I got together and he showed me this building and said, what could we do with this vacant building here? And I said, what about, he said, something to do with art. And I said, well, let's get some artists together. And so we started with myself and then it just bloomed into, right now I think we've got 30 some uh, artists and craftsmen. And uh, we represent uh, three states, Kentucky, Virginia, and Tennessee. I'm Kathy Matthews. I've lived in the Gap for 12 years. I'm originally from Michigan. I do photography, postcards, magnets, the town paper, a few other things, jack of all trades. My books, this one is my heart. All the pictures are within 75 miles of the Gap. But we have many master artists. We've got Cora Pat, who is in here. And if you go through, we also have several kinds of jewelry. We have people who whittle wood. I think that Ron's Santa's all look a bit sneaky. Over there we have glass and um, the sculpture. Both of them are residents of the Gap and live at the big red house at the end of the road. You've got a gal from Harlan that also makes jewelry and you've got she makes soap. Uh, we have a gal who's amazing. I'll show you her animals back there. She makes these all, and she even makes dogs and cats and any animal you want. Did I hit most of it, Cora? You did. You did good. You did great. Thank you, lady. We're here at the Bicycle Museum where um, they originally made bicycle shorts. Now, Cumberland Gap, you may have wondered where the thigh gap came from. Um, it's because the Cumberland <laughs> Gap said, uh, hey, we should make tight bicycle shorts that have a pad in the butt. And um, so when they did that, what it does is it pulls your thighs. When they touch, it pulls them out a little bit and it creates a thigh gap. See the word there? This is Little Congress Bicycle Museum. We go from about 1896 to about 1970. This little fella right here is me at about three and a half years old before I learned to keep my balance and they were designed by George Schmutt, uh, Los Angeles, California. He was also the first rhinestone cowboy. 
And the best evidence of that is the, uh, the rhinestones on the fender in the chain guard. Ralph, we appreciate it. Thank you all being here. Thank yeah. you so much. Yeah. Who is that? Do you give people rides in this a lot? Yeah, I do. Really? Okay, so my name is Billy Heck. I'm the park manager at Williams Hill State Park, and I uh, would like to welcome you guys today to Martin Station, which is a recreated frontier fort that was originally built in 1775 by Captain Joseph Martin and a party of approximately 18 to 25 men. The unique thing about Martin Station is the way we constructed it. June of 2002, we came here with 18 horses, two oxen, a wagon load of tools and food, and uh, we did everything, every aspect of the construction was done in 18th century style, using the tools and techniques of the period. Please tell me that this is not the cutest thing you've ever seen. Hello. Hello. So I just got informed that her name is Peppermint. Look how good girl she is. What's up guys? We are here at Martin Station and I especially am so excited to be here because my family came here a lot when I was growing up as a kid and my siblings and I got to experience a lot of the reenactments and events that they had both in the spring and in the fall and so coming back here is like returning to a little piece of my childhood. So we brought the whole team out today and are getting the grand tour and are getting to experience the beautiful weather and yeah. So stay tuned and you will see a lot of cool drone footage that Natalie might put in right now. Hey guys! So we are now here at the Carlin Mansion where someone's getting married. Um, my sister's getting married here in a month and that is a really cool fact about this place is you can rent this entire home and the yard and everything for the day and you can get married here. And it is absolutely gorgeous. You can get married in the yard, in the house, and we're about to go in the house to show you guys what is going on in there, but it is yep. absolutely gorgeous and we are very excited to show you all. Yes. Yeah. I remember seeing a sign somewhere that people could buy it and put in their homes that said, all because two people fell in love. Well, this house was built pretty much all because two people fell in love, but she wanted a better house. Uh, it was built by Robert McPherson Ely. This is his wife, Susan Gibbs Ely. And we have letters that he wrote to her when she was in Missouri visiting her family and showing them their little children about the house. That's how we know just when it was built, what things cost. It was originally the dining room. In 1947, my great aunt Annie, who had inherited this house, sold it to Mr. and Mrs. Harris, and their pictures are there, Carl and Ann Harris, so the name was changed from Elydale to Carlin. So, I just walked from over there to here to find these buffalo. Um, they're not coming to me. This fence is also electric. So, I'm gonna say that's why they're not coming to me, not the fact that they don't like me. So one is coming, nope, just be over it. I thought that was going to kill me. Uh. So, where are we? Angelo's. What are you thinking you're going to get? Maybe lasagna. Oh, okay. We hear from Tony that their lasagna is the best. No way. Tony the yeah, way. Josh? I have not looked at the menu, but we're at Angelo's, and I'm excited. Right. Here we are in downtown Cumberland Gap. We are at Angelo's restaurant, and it is... A really cool place. We got live music from this nice fella singing love songs. And I can't imagine a better place to be right now than come on Gap listening to this guy and about to smash a buffalo chicken pizza. It's gonna be great. Also, my family came. Hi family. Tatum, say hi. Fan, say hi. Say hi. <laughs> 
and um, yeah, so we're gonna enjoy some dinner and then head back to our houses, which are um, Airbnbs in town um, that they're that they're allowing us to stay in. It's really cool. Uh, so yes, Cumberland Gap, huge fan. I've got about to be a huge fan of pizza, and we'll see you guys in a bit. So we're at Angelo's. Only took a couple minutes to get our food, which is awesome. And we got some lasagna. Uh, lasagna, we got pizza, uh, we got some uh, green beans. Corn dog bites. Tatum is a big healthy eater. <laughs> some corn dog bites. Can you say hi? Uh, what should I draw? We want to draw Kathy. Okay, I'll draw what color can I have? Okay, Kevin is going to draw Kathy. <laughs> Bro, just a little bit more. No, keep going. There you go. 